it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is day 20 of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, round 16. Uh, so today's exclusive sketch is brought to us from Miss Carrie, and um, it is Sunday, so that means it's Sketch Sunday, and I think it's the third Sunday, so that means it's Stretch the Sketch, where you do anything but 12 by 12, which works out really perfect because I'm already doing uh, my traveler's notebooks. So the rest of the 30 days of sketches videos are gonna look slightly different, uh, mainly lighting wise, because I was at a day crop um, and I actually finished uh, the rest of, of this album at that day crop. So. So I am starting with, uh, I'm going to have five pictures total instead of six. So I'm just going to have one photo on the left hand side. And I went through and I'm making a couple of strips to turn into banners to go on the top and bottom of my photo. Uh, in the sketch, they are side to side. Uh, but there just wasn't enough real estate to go side to side. So top and bottom is going to be what I am doing. So this left-hand picture is a picture of my daughter as we're waiting in line to get on Alice in Wonderland. But it's really about the piece behind her. So, I mean, it just looks like a like like a decoration, right? It's a big mushroom because it's Alice in Wonderland. But that was actually a ticket booth back in the day when Disneyland, you had to buy tickets for the ride. So there's actually two of them in the park. Um, and I didn't get a good picture of the other one, but um, I will talk about it. Um, so I want to say... So it's the storybook ride, which is actually what I'm going to document on the other side. And that's why I wanted to use both photos of, um, of the ticket booths. Uh, but for some reason, I didn't grab one. So it's the lighthouse in front of storybook. So those two were actually the ticket booths, but they have incorporated them. So... I have the basic design done on the left. I went ahead and matted my photo in some black cardstock. Now I'm gonna work on the right-hand side where you can see it's a nice grid of four photos and I'm gonna go ahead and map my four photos on some black cardstock. These are of the storybook ride. Um, and in the storybook ride, there is like the oldest tree. Let me see if I, I wrote it down. Um, it's the mungo tree, pine. It's the oldest tree. It's 150 years and it's two feet tall. Um, it's right behind Geppetto's. So I do have a picture of it. Um, I believe it's the second picture there. Uh, so fun little things to find on little rides. Um, this ride always cracks me up because, you know, you're in this boat and then at the very end, everybody always has to stand up at the same time. And that's like a huge struggle. <laughs> like, like it's really hard for people to stand up at the same time in a boat. Uh, so it kind of cracks me up every time. So I did see in the sketch, there's kind of like a, a little piece of paper on the top and bottom. And then there's also a tab. So I went ahead and just cut a tab out of uh, one of the scrap pieces that I made the banners from. And I'm just gonna decorate with some of the stickers from this Alice in Wonderland sticker sheet. So I know both rides aren't Alice in Wonderland, just the one, but I figure it it can make it it can make it work. So this one it says, "Do you suppose she's a wildflower?" So I thought that was kind of fun cuz I really want to talk about the tree. And you can see my daughter behind her in the ears and that bottom left-hand corner. And plus 
she's over on the left hand side as well. And so since she's over there, I thought I would, um, I have a sticker of Alice that I'm going to put there and a little word sticker that says sweet girl. And then I did scatter a couple of butterflies around and I felt like the page was just too white. So, uh, funny enough, I forgot a pin at this crop, crop and would you think that I had a pin in my purse? Nope. <laughs> And no pen. Uh, so instead of doing a doodly black border, which I think probably would have been my initial go-to, I decided to take my Distress Ink in Kitsch Flamingo and go ahead and uh, add that little bit of color around both of the layouts. So that is going to do it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Make sure you give some love to Miss Carrie. I will have her link down below and everybody else who is playing along with Sketch Sunday and Stretch the Sketch. So I do have a couple of close-ups for you. If you have any questions, like I said, or just want to chat, or if you actually visited the, the ticket booth, remember to wear your crown. Bye.